criminal. Oops, wrong video. That was the first response. He actually apologized in another response. It's like a little gnat. It's like a little annoying gnat. <laughs> the defamation lawsuit. That is f***ing happening because this is wrong. This is This wrong. was a good apology, Hold on, though. wait a second. That's not it either. Uh, turns out it's actually on his secondary channel. That's, that's why I couldn't find it. It's entitled, Thank You, Coffeezilla. It's the third response from Logan Paul. <laughs> I love this intro. Coffeezilla's coming out here with the fangs out. He's got his claws drawn. Yeah, I mean, third time's the charm, though, for Logan. He really nailed it on this one. He's a saint again. Back in our good graces. I bought five bottles of Prime just to celebrate. He's Ooh. a new man. Change in Logan's attitude so far. So let's see what he has to say to us. Coffeezilla is not a criminal. Oh, that's a relief. I thought Logan was going to hire me. But in all seriousness, this video does have some major admissions in it I want to go through. For banger. One, Logan Actual banger. To me. I called him. I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his series was that of, of, of fire uh, and ego. Not only that, Logan also pledges a $1.3 million refund plan for people who bought his NFTs. I am personally committing 1,000 ETH to this, which is about $1.3 million. In addition to that, he also promises to finish CryptoZoo, which was left abandoned. And then step- He should just hire that YouTuber that did it in four hours. Call it a day, just- I paid this YouTuber an exposure to finish my crypto scam for me so I can continue to make more money off of this. Why not? Three, obviously finish and deliver the game as outlined in the white paper. Now, I'll be honest, this is a big change in tone. And honestly, a lot of this is good news. It's great that victims are going to get something back. Logan seems to acknowledge his continuous lapse in judgment. He's not suing me, which is also cool. Cheshire, and and frankly, this new response is just uh, way be better mad. than his last two. I think we can all acknowledge that. While also acknowledging that it's not really a perfect response either. There are still major problems here. Like, for example, many of the victims just have been ignored in this response. A lot of accusations have gone unanswered. And worse, Logan still seems to be playing the victim a lot. So in this video, I'm going to do my best to give Logan credit where credit is absolutely due, while also sharing moments where I think this apology mm. fell flat. And let me start with a positive. For example, I think if you are an outsider who is not affected by this scam and you yep. wanted a reason to That's love what I Logan Paul again, I think this nails it. I mean, that was one of the main things I said when he posted that if you weren't affected by the scam, you don't know anyone that was affected by the scam. Him posting this makes it very easy for you to be a fan again, kind of guilt free. Like, oh, OK, so some people got scammed, but look at how well he handled himself in this third apology video. So we can just move on past this. I'm I'm not offended anymore, so I don't care if you guys are. I've forgiven him for you guys, so we're good. Thanks to the resub, Tommy, Wrangle, Alex, Extra, and two gift subs, Eagle. He's giving back some of the money. He's apologizing. So if you're a card-carrying member of the Low Gang, you can rest easy here. Logan says he's sorry. He says he's making things right. And I think that's the point of this video is to speak to his core audience, to tell them he didn't scam anyone. And for what it's worth, I think Logan succeeds here. The problem is I don't think... I or the CryptoZoo holders were who Logan was really addressing here. And this is where the response falls more flat because he doesn't adequately address the real victims of CryptoZoo, which I, I think they're rightfully angry about. And I wanted to spend some time talking about that because, again, they've been the heartbeat of this whole story and they feel very differently about this response than Logan's core audience does. Yeah, they don't feel that like sounds about enough. right. And I want to talk about why starting with the $1.3 million repayment plan. Because obviously this is the strongest part of Logan's entire response, actually opening up his wallet. Uh, and I don't wanna minimize that in this video. I just do wanna put it in context because $1.3 million is a lot is of money. Subs, Unfortunately, the scam monster. was much bigger than $1.3 million. So the fact is most victims are not going to be made whole by this plan. Just in Zoo Coins alone, blockchain evidence shows $7.7 million was stolen by Logan's team, depending on who you believe. And this refund does nothing for those victims. It doesn't even apply to the holder of Zoo Coins at all. You get nothing if you bought this in-game currency. This refund only applies to current egg 
holders. So oh, they wait, can what? cash out that NFT for the initial mint price in crypto, oh. which matters sort of because crypto has I crashed a lot. So even though people spent $2.5 million on these eggs, in order to refund all these holders at mint price, it now only costs $1.3 million in today's money which again is nice, but doesn't do enough because the zoo coins were most of this scam. I mean, that's where most of the money was spent. It wasn't just on the NFTs. It was on this in-game currency, which Logan seems to have no intention of refunding. And his response for why is pretty bad. He responds to somebody who lost $80,000 who told oh. him, I hope this isn't just doing what you have to do technically to not get sued. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, jinkies. 80k in zoo shitties? Oh, Ruben. Ooh, that is painful. Oh, goodness. Logan replies with a screenshot of his white paper and later explains to a. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me read that. Replying with just a picture from your terms of service or whatever is always just such a douchey thing. Because Zoo was created to support CryptoZoo and was not intended to be an investment vehicle, the contract doesn't include incentives for liquidity providing, although the largest... And then cuts off. Okay, so it's just, eat shit, loser. Should have read. Paper. And later explains to another member of the Discord, I believe there has been a misconception here. As outlined in the white paper, Zoo was created to support CryptoZoo and was not intended mm. to be an investment vehicle. When you sold or bought is not my decision. And look, to be <laughs> fair to him, yeah, there he's... was a misconception that Zoo was an investment vehicle. But it's a misconception that he created. And he's also not wrong. You shouldn't have bought in in the first place. <laughs> like, you, you, I don't know what drew you to it to begin with. You must really love a picture of eggs and a picture of some animals. Like, he is not wrong. He he wasn't the one that forced you to buy in and waste 80,000 doubloons on it. But very douchey, considering you were the one that scammed him and got him to bite into it. Thanks for some sad boy cultivation and booty. I mean, he's the one who said it was a fun game that earned you money. And how it earned you that money was that your NFTs earned you zoo tokens. You know, things that were supposed to have value. That was the whole point of the game. So to suggest that these coins weren't advertised as on. valuable or an investment vehicle is insane. Especially since Logan's own team had rules for selling based strictly on the value of said investment vehicle. Quote, rules for selling. Ah, no market selling manipulation. Until a $200 million yes. dollar market cap. So I think it's fair to say if Logan's own team were Classic. buying zoo coins early, waiting for them to go up in value to a certain level and then selling them, that sounds like an investment vehicle, albeit a very stupid one. So this explanation definitely doesn't hold water. And Logan obviously just doesn't want to be on the hook for zoo <clears throat> coins. Instead, he just kind of wants to refund the much smaller part of the NFTs. What makes this even worse is that this refund doesn't even apply to everyone who bought these NFTs. Because some of these people sold their NFTs Larks. at a there deep loss, Jay thinking that CryptoZoo was over, that it was abandoned. And there's actually a way you could have tracked this whole thing, or Logan could have, and, you know, found a way to repay all the people who lost money on eggs. But instead, this refund only applies to current holders, meaning nobody who sold during the year and a half this project was abandoned gets anything back, which is a large percentage of the actual victims. And this I imagine it's most of the victims. Bad. This was brought to Logan's attention by one of the people in the Discord. Joao says, quote, Logan Paul, what will happen to the people who sold everything at a loss when the project appeared to be, quote, abandoned? Will everyone who minted be able to get that refund or just the current owners? Now, in reply to this, someone in the Discord said, if you sell, <laughs> you lose common investing knowledge. Or if you invest in CryptoZoo, you lose common sense knowledge. But I mean, again... That is a cold, hard fact that he just dropped under the table. He slapped his meat down and said, if you, you, you bought into this, you sold, you lost. He is correct. But it is still, once again, Logan's fault because he peddled a non-functional scam that was abandoned for a fucking year and a half. And Logan replies, seeming to agree with this idea. Thanks for the raid, Fluffy. Which is Hope just kind of stream. a terrible perspective for, Techno. for Logan to have when he seems to be saying that he wants to refund these people. And he's the reason a lot of these people left. And this is where Logan's new apology starts to ring more hollow. 
it's in all of the follow-ups after the response video because I, I don't know if he can help himself from betraying how he really feels about this because in another Discord exchange, Logan says, please do not put any more money into CryptoZoo, which <laughs> by the way is quite reasonable to say. Yeah, But then somebody true. follows up and says, guys, can someone explain what he said with not investing? But rather than replying, huh? oh guys, I just meant like I don't want anyone else losing money or you know, I don't want anyone else recklessly gambling. Logan replies instead, quote, I will no longer be the scapegoat for uh, anyone's financial decision. Woe is me. Oh, man. I'm so tired of being the scapegoat for my scam. Damn. The Matrix is out to get me here and I'm tired of it. No more of this. It's your fault that you fell for my scam. Idiots. Which is a wild response for someone who's claiming to refund people. Because it implies that he thinks he's the victim here. And this is just insane to say as the face of this project, which got everyone involved, because I think it betrays how he feels about this situation. He doesn't seem to see anything wrong with advertising a game that will make you money, it never delivering millions of dollars being stolen by criminals he hired. And then when all of those people want their money back, he feels like he's the scapegoat. Like, oh, <laughs> these guys shouldn't have believed me when I advertised to them a fun game that will make you money. True. It just doesn't make any sense. How could these fools have played into my trap when it was so obvious that it was a fake garbage scam to begin with? Why should I feel empathy for these plebeians? I hired three criminals to run this and they stole from me. I'm the victim, not these pores that put money into my shit. So why should I be bothered to help them? Fuck you guys. I mean, Logan had a simple job to do. All he had to do was just come out, apologize, get as much money back for the victims as possible. But he himself can't help but play the victim here. In fact, I have a third example of how Logan might really feel because Logan tweeted right before his response. He says, <laughs> that quote, shit was the awesome. Matrix is real. Pray you never become its target. Now, I guess he's trying to channel Andrew Tate here unsuccessfully, basically saying like, Andrew Tate oh, even fucking dunked on him for it. Not because I did anything wrong or scammed anyone. I'm just, I'm just too much of a truth teller. I'm just an enemy of the system. Yeah, that's why I must he be revealed too much. But if that's the case, we then have to wonder, did the Matrix force you to apologize? Did it force you to hand back 1.3 million? I just think comments like this go so far to undercut his apology because it's very clear that instead of actually like caring about the victims, he feels like he's a victim. I mean, he's saying like, oh, pray you never become its target. Who's the Matrix though, Logan? Like, is it your fans <laughs> who got robbed? Who are the agents coming after you? I, I, I know it's not me. So I'll explain it. Logan, with his back against the wall, does what he does best. He tries to parrot literally anyone else's belief. All he did was grift into something that he thought might be able to earn him some points to get out of it. So he went with the Matrix angle because it's such a hot button thing with Tate and all that. What he failed to realize is that literally no one is on his side. So that became even more of a goofy, delusional attempt at saving face. The guy scammed, point blank. Hired three criminals, which he himself admits, and he still had the gall, the chutzpah, to try the Matrix angle, which even summoned the, the Matrix man himself, Andrew Tate, to shit on him for it publicly, further burying, burying Logan's head in his ass. It's such a poetic disaster of PR. He couldn't make a good move. I actually still do believe Logan Paul doesn't have any thoughts of his own. I don't actually think he believes anything in his own mind. He just tries to pander. And he chooses any position that is the easiest and most potentially safe position to take. It was a good attempt, though. Can't, can't fault him for throwing the Hail Mary, I suppose. Thanks for your sub. Trash can, champ, new guy, broski, and the five gift subs again, hail. And there you said goat and bits neon. I know you're not saying I'm the Matrix here in my $10 million studio. Because after all, you're thanking me. You're thanking the Matrix. Like, what is this response? It's so childish the way he speaks about this stuff. And again, this isn't to be dismissive of Logan's actions if he follows through. Because there is a lot of good that 1.3 million can do. 
And you know what? If he goes back and he finishes the game, that's also good. But it's just so frustrating when the good that Logan seems to be doing, he's doing the bare minimum of at the last possible second with motivations <laughs> that seem to be in the proper context, to say it lightly, irreparably tainted by self-interest. Now, I'm not going to address Logan's other two response videos, which are mostly like attacking me because Logan sort of walked those back now. He's apologized. He said he was going to delete them. I think he deleted one of them. The other one's still up. I don't know if the impulsive episode's going to go down. Either way, it's just much less interesting now that he says he doesn't like mean it anymore. He's not going to sue. So I don't feel the need to publicly defend myself. If you're curious about all the wild stuff that was wrong in those first two responses, um, I'll put the video live on my Patreon. But I didn't want to release it at the time because I thought there was a better chance at getting a good ending for the victims here if I was a bit more diplomatic with Logan at this critical juncture when he was deciding whether he was going to give money back or not. At the end of the day, the whole purpose behind this entire thing was telling the victim story, so anything that could result in them getting their money back is the optimal outcome. That'd be a mission accomplished. I don't know if I succeeded in moving the needle, but that was certainly my intention. Either way, now that Logan has responded with his plan and I've given my perspective on how much I think it's rooted in, you know, self-interest versus a genuine, you know, attempt to help out the victims, I think this is about as much as I'm going to be able to contribute to this situation. I mean, I do think it's incredible that even $1.3 million came of this, while I also can acknowledge than that it's not nearly enough for the real victims of this. I'll follow up in the future to make sure that he actually gives that money away, but for now... I think most of the crypto zoo victims, if they're still hungry for justice, are going to have to take it up with Logan in ways that are different than I can do on YouTube here. Which, by the way, I think some of them are. In fact, I just saw a lawyer yep. on YouTube, uh, Attorney Tom. He's going to start the legal process going after Logan using stuff like the arbitration clause that is in your true. terms of service. So I just wanted to say, if I you're a victim well. of CryptoZoo, you can check out that video, which I'll link to you if you want, uh, or consult with a lawyer, because I'm sure for the people who lost a lot of money, this is certainly not the end for them because they didn't get a full refund and I'm sure they'll be seeking one. But even though it's not the end for them, it is the end for me for now. This is the end of the CryptoZoo saga. And I wanted to say and give a huge heartfelt thank you to everyone who viewed this and supported me throughout this. It's been insane, the level of support when Logan oh, was threatening so, us. That's so cute. I do not take it lightly. There is an alternate universe where if that hadn't happened, Logan would feel emboldened to sue me and probably not give much back to the victims. So it's your support that made all the difference and got the victims at least something. So that wraps it up. Thank you for watching. Imagine Logan comes out and just like, you know what? Fuck you guys. You didn't suck my dick hard enough for my benevolent actions here. I am going to sue CoffeeZilla. Fuck you. That'd be such a, that'd be such a crazy twist just to keep it going. <laughs> and then the content machine rolls in. Yeah, that would be a crazy case. I feel like it'll happen. It won't. He he knows there's no shot he can do that. He would lose even more should he decide to, for some reason, reignite the lawsuit. Exerisa, Blake, and Megan. And yeah, probably Meliodas. And thanks to the Prime, Deanna. Just a bullying tactic he never intended to sue. Well, the tactic isn't the threat of a lawsuit. The bullying tactic is when people like that have a lot of money, they can take it to the next step and cost you money to defend yourself. That's the bullying. It's financial bullying through the lawsuit. So him just saying, I'm going to sue you. Well, it doesn't really do anything. Now you just look like a weak bitch. You didn't. The tactic that's been used by other YouTubers like Brit Boy is, I'm suing you. And then you take it to the next level where you actually do start putting in the paperwork. So then it adds not only a financial burden with or getting a lawyer to represent you, which costs money. It, re it then takes a mental toll because of the stress of having to defend yourself legally against someone like that. So that's where the actual um, bullying is.
or BitBoy, BitBoy Crypto. Sorry, not BritBoy. <laughs> my, my bad. That's where the that's where that comes in. Oh, Carl, Carl is another great example. Billy Mitchell going after Carl. That's another example of that same tactic that's being used. Yeah, Billy Mitchell is notorious for using that. <laughs> 